Welcome back. So I'm releasing two videos on the same day, um, which is really unusual for me. Now the other video was all about creating something called a Raspberry Pi Pico DVI SOC. And this is essentially a project that can uh, produce HDMI-like signals or DVI digital signals from, uh, from a Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's created by Luke Rents up there on GitHub. There you see a picture of it. Now the challenge in making one of these DVI socks is uh, very small components are, are required and you need to be quite good at surface mount soldering. So that's the other video. Uh, but I really like this project and the reason is it only uses eight IO lines to produce the video output. And you can plug it into the HDMI port of a monitor. So what I'm going to try and do is build that same thing without using surface mount soldering or even a PCB. I'm just going to use some uh, resistors and uh, an HDMI cable and a breadboard. So this starts by me cutting um, a perfectly good HDMI cable in half and uh, then unwrapping it. And actually a lot of the challenge in building this is unwrapping that HDMI cable and uh, figuring out what's going on inside. So inside an HDMI cable, you should find four uh, differential pairs. So these differential pairs are essentially uh, two wires uh, and an earth wire that are wrapped together. So in my uh, cable, you see here, I have uh, the pairs which are um, red and white, green and white, uh, blue and white, and brown and white. So let me just quickly draw uh, a little diagram of uh, my, my Pico, and I'm gonna show you uh, where the connections are made and the colors of the cables. Uh, from my HDMI cable uh, that I connected to which uh, Pico pin. So all the resistors are the same, they're all 270 ohms. And you see there I'm, um, I'm basically just writing down what was the color of the cables that I connected to which, um, uh, which output. Um, so what was interesting is I didn't get this right to begin with um, at all. Um, I actually wired them up and wasn't getting a signal. And I'm gonna show you a little bit more. The, the, the schematic that I just drew is correct. Um, but I had to do a little bit of trial and error to figure out, figure out what was going on. So here I'm essentially uh, soldering uh, the HDMI uh, uh, differential pairs to a set of headers, and that just makes it easy for, easier for me to connect them with the breadboard. Um, and then I'm putting the resistors, the eight resistors, uh, connecting the pins from those headers to the Pico um, IO lines. So to begin with, I wasn't getting much. Um, and then I figured out the clock line and was getting a picture and then I was getting strange colors. You see that the, there's a couple of strange colors going on there. That PCB there shouldn't be purple, by the way. It's supposed to be green. Uh, so it's interesting. You can actually uh, uh, wire it up the wrong way and you get different colors. Um, so I eventually got it right and that's the schematic that I drew um, and it worked really well. So it only took about half an hour um, I didn't have to do any kind of surface mount soldering and I was able to get the same um, HDMI output signals, which is basically uh, DVI digital um, on, on my monitor. And the other thing that I found is that if you try to connect the DVI output to the actual DVI input of a monitor, it doesn't work as well as connecting it to the HDMI input. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, drop a like on this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one.